Check one two, one two check. Mm. Check one two, one two check. Okay, cut forty.
Bwana Champanda. Naam naam. Nani yako sijui ni microphone yako au sijui ni mimi peke yangu nakuwa kama vile nasikia some sort of statics. Yaani unapofiga inakuwa some sort of glitches or whatever. Sijui ni mimi peke yangu. Oh. Wengine naje pia wanasikia hiyo. Ya ina ina Ta, bado kuna vina ni kidogo lakini eneo tunaweza kutaendelea sauti yako iko mbali kidogo ene ya Ya na kusikia ya na kusikia Mami kwa ruzo Na kusikia ya na mikuwa ruzo flani hivi Jamani mmebarikiwa. Habari ni asubuhi. Nzuri. Yeah, basi tum kwamba wote Mungu ametubariki, ametuamsha tukio salama, tumkaribishe uh, dada Beatrice Chisumo kwa ajili na joke na Beatrice wawili, Beatrice Chisumo kwa ajili ya program ya maombi ya asubuhi ya leo. Karibu uh, Beatrice. Asante. Na tumaini mnanisikia. Tunakusikia, tunakusikia. Ah, uh, umepotea kidogo? Umepotea? Sauti yako hatukusikii kabisa. Mrs. Nyetambi. Depress uko sawa? Sasa eh. Eh hapo tunakusikia. Ah sorry si naona Ume umepotea tena. Umepotea tena. Sasa. Hebu endelea kuongea. Hello. Eh yeah, hapo sawa. Okay sorry. Uh, tunaomba tufunge macho tuweze kupata ombi uh, ili tusipoteze muda. Asante Mungu, asante kwa kipindi hichi cha asubuhi. Mungu baba tunashukuru kwa ulinzi wako katika wiki nzima na leo umetufikisha siku yako ya sabato. Tunaombea wale wote ambao watakuwa wako njiani kuungana nasi. Basi Mungu baba ukawabariki waweze kufika ma, wakati kwa wakati mwafaka. Basi tunapoendelea na kipindi kuwa pamoja nasi katika jina la Mwana Yesu Kristo. Amen. Basi ni wakaribishe tena katika sabatu ya leo ya tare uh, 20 mwezi wa sita Ni na fungu udogo tu hapa ambalo nependa kuwasomea Na nitajaribu kuifafanua ni hivyo lielewa Katika zaburi ya 134 na ni mstari ule wa kwanza Ambao unasema 
tazama enyi watumishi wa Bwana muimidini Bwana nyote pia katika nyumba ya Bwana tazama, tazama enyi watumishi wa Bwana muimidini Bwana nyote pia ninyi mnaosimama usiku katika nyumba ya Bwana kwa hiyo um, mimi nilivyoelewa hilo somo ndugu uh, wapendwa wana wa Mungu ni kwamba tunatakiwa tujitahidi kuwa karibu sana na Bwana katika maombi na katika uh, kila majaribu yanayotupita kila siku ya Mungu tunapoamka basi uh, tunapolala tunapoamka tuwe tunajitahidi uh, kukumbuka kwamba uh, kimbilio letu ni ni Bwana na tumekuwa hata katika kipindi kizuri cha makambi ambacho tumetuambia at times like this sasa tusiwe tunakumbuka tu at times like this ambazo sometimes zinaweza zikawa kwamba wengine wanazifikiria in terms of magonjwa kama corona lakini pia tuzifikirie kwamba tuko katika siku za mwisho basi tunapoendelea na hichi kipindi ningependa um, kwa mtu yote ambaye ana shuhuda kwa mtu yote ana kitu cha kuombea basi ni wakati huu na wakaribisha sana kwa yote yule ambaye atakuwa na ushuhuda kwa yote yule ambaye atakuwa na ombi ambalo anapenda tupate kuliombea asubuhi ya leo karibuni Tamani karibuni ni wakati wenu sasa karibuni Wenda uh, uh, mimi ni uh, mimi ni nipende kumshukuru Mungu kwa kwa ninasikia mwangu kia mwangu jini jini ni shida upande wangu au upande wangu au ya mitambo Hello Unasikika Mwangi wenyewe huko hata jana darasani mwangu likuwepo mkubwa sana. Okay. Basi uh, nipende kumshukuru Mungu kwa wema wake na ukuu wake ambao anaendelea kututendea kila siku. Lakini kuna ushuhuda mmoja ambao nimejaribu kushare na wenzangu ambao nimefanya nao kazi ambao au ninaofanya nao kazi kwa sehemu moja. Um, Jambo ambalo limekuwa likinishangaza especially katika kipindi hiki cha cha cha, cha corona yani kipindi hiki cha lockdown. Uh, normally najihusisha na kazi ya kutuma mizigo. Lakini kitu ambacho kimeni onyesha kwamba Mungu ni mkuu ni kwamba hadi inafika siku ya kazi kwamba leo hii ndio tunafanya kazi ya kutuma mzigo wakati mwingine tunakuwa hatuna hata mzigo hata mmoja hmm. kwa hiyo tunaenda pale na tunasema okay kwa sababu ni rutini nilipati ya kazi na ni lazima niingie kazini anyway whether kuna mzigo au hakuna mzigo lakini kitu ambacho kimenishangaza na kimeendelea kutushangaza wote ni kwamba from zero to something. Amen. Ni jambo la kumshangaza Mungu. Kwamba unakuwa kwamba unafikiria kwamba okay let me just fill the paperwork ile kusudi ni malizie ni ni close down suddenly unajikuta kwamba kazi inapatikana. Kwa hiyo hilo mimi kwangu limekuwa ni changamoto na nimeweza kushare na wenzangu wale ambao ninaofanya nao kazi kwamba Mungu siku zote ni mwaminifu. Wenyewe wana imani yao na mimi nina imani ninayohamini. Siku zote huwa naomba Mungu kwamba kabla sijaondoka kwenda kazini kwamba Mungu tusaidie ile kusudi tuweze kufanikiwa na kuweza kufanya kazi yote. Kwa kile kidogo kila ambacho Mungu anatubariki nacho, nimeona kwamba mkono wa Mungu umekuwa ni wapekee zaidi katika maisha yetu na especially katika kazi nafanya. Na ninamuomba Mungu kila siku kwamba katika miujiza hii midogo midogo inayoendelea kufanyika wale mabwana ninaofanya nao kazi wamfahamu Mungu zaidi 
kwa kupitia kazi tunayofanya kwa sababu tunaongea nao na tunaomba nao na kwa kadri jinsi ninavyoenda nao taratibu Mungu anisaidie na anipatie maneno ya kuweza kuongea nao zaidi ile kusudi waone ukuu wa Mungu kwa kupitia kile kidogo tunachokifanya na kwa kupitia ile shughuli ya kila siku tunayofanya kwa hiyo Mungu ni wa ajabu na Mungu amekuwa ni wa pekee kwetu tuendelee kumuomba Mungu kwa kila kile kidogo kile ambacho kinachokifanya au kwa maneno machache tunayoongea nayo na maisha yetu tunavyojikabidhi kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na especially katika kipindi hiki cha kufunga tunapokuwa tukifunga Mungu amekuwa ni mwaminifu kwetu na Mungu anatenda kwa kadri ya jinsi Mungu anavyotuwezesha kwa hiyo tujaribu kushare na watu kwa kile chochote kile ambacho Mungu anachotubariki nacho kinaweza kikawa ni kidogo lakini kikabadilisha maisha ya mtu na ninaona kadi ya jinsi siku zinavyoenda day by day kwamba kuna kitu ambacho wanachojifunza inawezekana maybe wasi shift lakini kuna kitu ambacho wamejifunza kuhusu Mungu huyu tunayemwamini tofauti na Mungu wanayemwamini wao wenyewe kwa hiyo Mungu wetu atusaidie zaidi na atuendelee kutupatia uh, courage na inafika kila siku asubuhi pale hivi wanakwambia bwana wananiita mchungaji mchungaji omba kwa sasa yani na inani encourage inani encourage kwa, kwa, kwa kiasi fulani kwamba ndio nimepewa jina la uchungaji sio mchungaji lakini mm. kwa kile ambacho mtu aamini kuhusu imani yako na wewe unaomba naye anakuruhusu ni ni roho wa Mungu mimi naamini kwamba ni roho wa Mungu ndiye anayefanya kazi na tuendelee kumuomba Mungu atusaidie katika hiki kipindi kusudi atupatie ufumbuzi zaidi wa kuweza kuwafikia watu wengine. Asante. Amen. Amen, amen. Kuna mwingine? Mwenye ushuhuda? Mwenye maombi? Mwenye maombi. Yeah. <coughs> Sina ushuhuda lakini kwa naomba tumkumbuke um, rafiki mkubwa na kaka yangu mkubwa hapa Dar es Salaam alianguka ghafla juzi yule bwana alikuwa na ameita waandishi wa habari kuja nyumbani kwake walikuwa wanataka kumhoji kwamba anajiandaa ku, kujaza form kugombea uh, ubunge na na kwenye jimbo jipya la huku karibu na Kibaha wanaita Kibamba waandishi wa habari wamekuja wa, na yeye ametoka nje alipotoka nje kabla hata hajaanza kusalimiana akaanguka ghafla ameanguka akawa hajitambui wakamkimbiza hospitali na wakakuta kwamba pale pale wakaona kwamba alivyoanguka hawana haka kwamba alijigonga kwenye nini lakini damu zilianza kutoka puani kwa hivyo wakajua labda kuna shida ndani tayari wakamkimbiza hospitali na wakakuta ni kweli kwamba damu uh, zimedondoka kwenye ubongo kwa hivi yuko kwenye matibabu lakini hajitambui mpaka sasa hivi uh, anaitwa mdoe kwa hivi na waomba tu tumkumbuke huyu mdoe kwenye maombi ni kaka yake ni, 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 ni rafiki mkubwa wa kaka yangu babake Abdala. Kwa hiyo naomba tumkumbuke kwenye maombi wenyewe ni waislamu tena wazuri. Lakini basi mpaka tulivyoongea nao hata jana kujua wanaendeleaje. Wakijua kwamba mimi sio Muislamu lakini wanaposema tukumbukeni kwenye maombi na mzidishe maombi basi wanajua kwamba siombi kupitia Muhammad naomba kupitia Isa. Uh, bin Mariam na Waislamu wengi of course wanaamini tu kwamba Yesu wanamheshimu Yesu na wanamtambua kwamba ni nabii wa Mwenyezi Mungu kuna shida zingine namna gani kuhusu Yesu lakini shida yao ni kwamba sio sio mwana wa Mungu wala sio Mungu lakini wanajua kwamba ni nabii na wanamheshimu kwa hivyo naomba tumkumbuke huyo uh, kaka mdoe katika maombi yetu ili Mungu aweze kufanya uponyaji. Amen. Amen. Kuna mwingine? Kuna mwingine? Kama hakuna 
basi na mimi nitapenda kuongea kidogo uh, ninapenda ni um, kutoa ushuhuda wa kwangu binafsi kidogo uh, ya kwamba namshukuru Mungu sana kwa miaka mingi tu amekuwa akinilinda mimi nafanya kazi na kila siku sa nyingine nalalamika na mlalamikia Mungu lakini mara nyingine najirudi na nasema Mungu naomba unisamee kama mwanadamu nina haki ya kulalamika kwa sababu nina uanadamu lakini kwa upande mwingine naona kwamba wewe ndio tegemeo langu na uh, huwa mara nyingi namrudia yeye nasema Mungu nisamee tu nilalamika kama mwanadamu Nimekuwa nikifanya kazi zangu na kazi zangu zote kwa miaka kama si mitano labda ni sita hivi nafanya kwa kutupitia agency. Na watu wanajua maana ya agency. Kwa hiyo unapewa kitu kwa muda labda miezi sita, miezi mitatu, wiki sita, wiki ngapi. Kwa hiyo Mungu amekuwa akinipitisha sehemu na sehemu. Kama nilipelekwa wiki sita naweza nikakuta nafanya miezi minne kama niipeka miezi sita, naweza nikakuta nimezidisha zaidi ya hapo kwa hiyo katika siku zangu zote bado ninakuwa nikimtegemea Mungu na namshukuru sana kwa yale yote anayonipitisha katika nchi hii kwa sababu saa nyingine uh, sio kwamba upendi kazi kupata kazi ya permanent lakini inakuwa shida kulingana na vitu mbalimbali ambavyo bado saa nyingine najiuliza je ni lugha Je, ni tatizo la rangi? Je, ni tatizo la nini? Lakini bado ninamwaminia Mungu nasema Mungu endelea kunishikilia. Na mara nyingi hata nitakapomisi kazi between kazi na kazi, nasema Mungu mimi najua. Namaliza hii kazi lakini bado utanifungulia njia. Na amekuwa akitenda hivyo miaka na miaka mpaka sasa. Sasa hivi uh, kwa kipindi hichi cha corona Wapo wengi sana ambao ninajua kwamba wameweza kupoteza kazi na wengine wako sasa hivi kwenye hii wanaoita falo uh, ambayo sasa at the end of the day hatujui kama watarudi kazini hatujui kama uh, hawa watu wa, kazi zao zitakuwepo kwa maana ya kwamba makampuni yatakuwepo au hayatakuwepo kwa hiyo tuendelee kuomba Mungu atufungulie njia hata kwa udogo uliopo kwa sababu kama mimi kwenye kampuni yangu tuliambiwa kabisa kwamba wanataka kukata kosti kwa sababu watu wamekaa nyumbani na watu wa kwanza wanaotolewa watakuwa ni watu wa agency obvious utajua kwa sababu hauna uh, kosti kwao kwamba labda kuna redundancy au nini wenyewe ni notice ya one week au mwezi au whatever unatolewa kwa hiyo nilikuwa kwenye hiyo mchakato na Mungu akanipigania bahati nzuri kuna kitu ninachofanya ambacho ilikuwa siwezi nikafukuzwa on the spot kwa hiyo ikabidi kwamba waniache kwa muda mpaka nitakapo expire contract yangu ambayo ilikuwa inaisha mwezi wa tano mwishoni na nikawa nimepewa mtu ambaye ninatakiwa nimfundishe nilipata kumfundisha mpaka mwisho lakini Mungu alivyo mkubwa siku ya wiki ya mwisho ya mwezi wa tano nikapigiwa simu na manager i mean akaniandikia manager akaniambia nikamwambia nina position nina kitu hapa nimekitengeneza naomba ukiangalia kama kiko sawa na jaribu kutengeneza CV yangu ili ni move on baada ya hii kazi akaniambia kwa nini una haraka uh, naomba hold on kwa sababu ninajaribu kutafuta extension yako la, na wewe unajua ni kwa nini sikuweza ku extend kwa sababu CFO ameshasema kwamba wanakata cost na lazima tutoke wanahitaji tu watu ambao wako uh, kama utabaki utakuwa ni critical to the business sasa basi mimi nikamwambia kwamba sikujua kama akasema sikuweza kukwambia in advance kwa sababu wewe una yani uh, sikuwa na uhakika kwamba nitapata lakini ngoja nikwambie ninajaribu kutafuta nitakwambia kama nitakuwa nimepata approval by kesho. Yaani hapo sasa ni kama alamisi nadhani au Jumatano. Kwa hiyo Jumaa akanipigia akaniambia akanitumia message akaniambia nimepata approval. Kwa hiyo nadhani tuta extend na niko kwenye kuhakikisha hicho kitu kita, kitaenda faster. Basi Mungu alivyo mwema nikashukuru kweli kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeshaanza kujaza CV yangu nikawa najiuliza kazi nitapataje nikiuliza agency agency anasema kwa kweli nimekuruhusu kama alikuwa honest kwamba wewe jiandikishe na agency zingine kwa sababu market kuko nje haiko sawa. 
basi mimi nikafanya hivyo na ndio nilichukua hilo jukumu manager alivonipa ule moyo kwamba anajaribu kunitafutia extension na nikapata extension nime sasa kwenye kampuni yetu ni kwamba pale unapoisha hapo hapo system inakukata nimekaa Ijumaa tarehe nadhani ilikuwa 29 system ikanikata sana nane nikawatumia message uzuri kwa simu tuua na kuwa na manager na mwenzangu nikawambia mimi nimekatwa kwenye system na hisi ni kwa sababu nilikuwa ninaenda kumaliza muda wangu basi sasa ndio uh, yule wakasema tunaishughulikia wameishughulikia lakini probably i guess inachukua masaa 24 kwa sababu kuna wengine walisha wai kushuhudia kitu kama hicho nilirudi kwenye system next day ambayo ni Jumatatu saa kama hizo hizo nani ambapo system ilikata kwa hiyo namshukuru Mungu kwa kila jambo huwa ananipigania na ananivusha sehemu na sehemu mara nyingine nakuwa na worry lakini yeye mwenyewe ananipigania Kwa hiyo ndio hilo tu ambalo nimependa kushare na nyie tuzidi kumuomba Mungu tunapolalamika tu, tu, kama binadamu bado tena turudi tumwambie tum, Mungu usamahani kwa sababu ni binadamu ni lazima tu, tuseme Mungu kwa nini unipatipa mai Mungu kwa nini ni hivi Mungu kwa nini ni vile lakini at the end of the day Mungu ana mipango mizuri kwetu tuendelee kumshikilia Amina Basi um, sasa hivi uh, kwa kipindi kingine ambacho Amina. tunaenda ni uh, kwamba nitapenda uh, tuweke uh, maombi uh, kwa watu wawili na kitu kimo, kikubwa ambacho nitapenda uh, tuombe ni wagonjwa wagonjwa uh, uh, wote uh, ambao wana tunaweza tukawa tunawajua na pia tuweze kumkumbuka kaka mdoe ambaye ameletwa kwetu na uh, nani uh, brother Shelfumo na pia uh, tunapenda ku, uh, kwa wakati huu pia tuwakumbuke pia wafiwa wote uh, ka, miongoni mwetu yuko uh, dada devota ambaye naye amefiwa tunajua hilo uh, na pia tunapenda napenda pia kuleta wakati huu tuombe vitu vingine vyote na special kazi katika kipindi hichi cha uncertainty kuna watu ambao wako kwenye falo ndivyo waeleza na wajui hatima yao kama watarudi kazini au kazi zile bado zitaendelea kuwepo pale ambapo vitu vitakuwa vimerudi salama basi uh, nitachagua uh, watu wawili wapende waweze waweze kwenda kuomba ninaomba uh, bibi na kasero uh, naomba ukapate kuombea watu wote ambao wana uh, poteza kazi mambo ya kazi katika nchi hii uh, waliopoteza ambao wanazo ambazo bado Mungu uh, anaendelea kuwashikilia nazo zikaendelea kuwashikilia na pia nitaomba kuom, uh, kumuomba mama Champanda aweze uh, kuwaombea um, wagonjwa wote uh, na wale wote waliofiwa uh, katika kipindi hichi nina imani mama Champanda upo make bibi na muona nipo uh, ba- basi uh, tunaweza tukaomba na bibi na kasero naomba wewe ndio uanze amen tuombe mtakatifu 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 Mungu baba ukitie mahali pa juu tunasema asante bwana kwa ajili ya wema fadhili zako na upendo wako mkuu kwetu Mungu wetu neema yako ya tosha baba tunakuja mbele zako kama mtumishi wako alivyosema Tunawaombea watu wako ambao wako katika kipindi kigumu iki cha tatizo kubwa sana la corona lilo ingia. Mambo mengi ya mebadirika katika maisha yetu ya, ya kibinadamu na hata mambo ya kiroo pia bwana ya mebadirika. Mungu wetu tunawona ukuu wako na mkono wako ukiwa zaidi upande wetu. Pamoja na kwamba shetani pia anafanya kazi usiku na mchana kwa kisha kwamba watu wako wanashindwa kuendelea kuli kutenda kazi yako. Mm. Sasa ninawainua wale watu walioko makazini na wale ambao wako manyumbani wakifanya kazi kutokea nyumbani bwana lakini bado kuna matatizo yatakayotokea upande wa kazi kwamba watapunguzwa kazi, wengine wamekusha kupunguzwa kazi, wengine wamekosa kazi kabisa hata sasa pamoja na kwamba serikali hii imesema inawapatia sehemu ya pesa ambayo ni kidogo haiwezi kutosha mahitaji yao. Na hata kabla ya tatizo hili wamekimbia kwa masaa mengi wakitafuta kuweka maisha yao katika hali nzuri lakini zile pesa bado zilikuwa hazitoshi pia Mungu wa mbinguni 
Baba wewe fungua njia ya pekee uweze kuwasimamia watu wako. Tunasema pia asante kwa ajili ya ushuhuda wa Mama Chisumu. Mungu wetu wewe umesimama naye. Endelea kusimama na watu wote katika dunia nzima kwa sababu sio tatizo letu tu angaza na wala sisi tu hapa Uingereza hapana. Ni tatizo la dunia nzima. Kote watu wanalia maisha yatakuwa magumu na maisha haya yatakuwa magumu zaidi kufuatana na neno lako linavyotufundisha na kutufunulia juu ya wakati wa mwisho utakuwa na mna gani. Kwa hiyo tusitegemee kwamba maisha yetu yataenda kubadilika. Lakini hatuwezi kuacha kuendelea kukuomba Mungu wetu wewe ambaye utatutegemeza hata katika ile shida ya mwisho hatimaye hata wateule wataweza pia kupoteza wangeweza kupoteza uteule wao kama bwana wewe utaweka neema yako katikati yetu Mungu tunaomba wewe usimame watie nguvu uwape ujasiri wasikate tamaa waendelee kukuangalia wewe kwa sababu wewe ndiyo dira yao na wewe bwana watakao kutegemea Mungu utawapitisha katika yaliyo yote na yaliyo magumu na kazi hizi bwana utafungua njia nyingine kwa kazi nyingine. Na pia bwana wasichague aina ya kazi ya kufanya kwa sababu hatuna wakati. Kile kitakachokuwa mbele yao kufanya kitakachokuwa mbele yao waweze kufanya wapate kitu cha kupeleka maisha paka pale bwana wewe utakaposema sasa Yesu anarudi basi waweze kuchukua na kufanya. Hata kama ni watu wamesoma zaidi kwa sababu huu wakati bwana sio wa kuangalia elimu yako ulio nayo, uwezo wako wa maisha, uwezo wako wa uchumi udhaifu wako wa mwili udhaifu wako wa kiroho hapana mambo hayo yanatikisa watu wote wa hali zote mm. Mungu wetu tunawakumbuka watumishi wako pia hali hii inawatikisa pia mm. Mungu njia pekee ambayo tulio nayo ni kujinyenyekeza kwako kurudi kwako wewe Bwana kujifunza maneno yako matakatifu na pia kuomba na kukulilia wewe Mungu Mungu unayesikia Mungu unayejibu maombi ya watu wako ninaamini ya kwamba Bwana Tumaini letu likiwa wewe tu hakuna lile ambalo litakuwa gumu tukashindwa kupata ule ujasiri na nguvu ya kuendelea kuliitia jina lako. Basi ninayaomba haya nikikabidhi mikononi mwako katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Amina. Amen. Mungu wetu na baba yetu tunakuja mbele yako wakati huu. Nikushukuru kwa yote ambayo unatendea kila siku. Asubuhi ya leo tunajikabidhi kwako kuleta maombi yetu mbele yako. Kwa maana wewe Mungu wa mbinguni umetuagiza tuombe bila kukoma. Hmm. Basi wakati huu pamoja na mwenzangu ambaye ameshatangulia kuomba na mimi nitakwenda kuomba maombi yetu baba akapata kibali machoni pako. Tunawaleta waliofiwa mbele yako. Mungu wa mbinguni katika wakati huu tunawaombea faraja. Tukiwa na mama, na devota na familia yake ambao wamempoteza mama yao mdogo. Mungu wa mbinguni na kuna kama kuna wengine pia wapo pamoja nao wote. Wakati huu mgumu wanaopitia, ukawafariji Mungu wa mbinguni kwa pendo lako kuu. Hapa na hata huko nyumbani msiba wanapoendelea. Mm. Baba ukapatie faraja juu kupata kukuona katika kila uh, maeneo walipo. Mungu wa mbinguni pia tunaleta wagonjwa ambao wako miongoni mwetu na ambao pia tumeletewa majina ya kuweza kuwaombea. Mm. Tunawaombea eh, dada yake mchunga ambaye yuko hospitalini Mungu wa mbinguni wakati huu anapopitia magonjwa yake na wakati madokta wanaendelea kumjaribu kumtibu basi Mungu wa mbinguni tunakuomba ukae mganga mkuu ukaleta uponyaji na ukawabariki wale ndugu na majamaa wanaozunguka kiwapatie hali ya kutulia wakati mgonjwa wanaendelea kupata matibabu pia tunamleta ndugu mdo eh mdoe huko Tanzania na yeye ambaye alianguka akapata um, ma uh, kumia katika kichwa chake Mungu wa mbinguni wakati huu tunameta pia mikono yako. mwako. Unamfahamu kwamba ni mtoto wako. Tunamweka Mungu wa mbinguni mbele yako, tunaomba ukalete uponyaji kutoka kwako. Na wakati anapoendea kupata uponyaji Mungu wa mbinguni familia yake na ndugu zake wakajue kama kuna Mungu ambaye yuko juu. Mungu wa mbinguni basi tunakuzabizi kwako siku ya leo. Pamoja na wale ambao tulikuwa tunaombea katika listi yetu ya angaza ambao ni wagonjwa wengine ingine wanamhitaji mbalimbali baba yetu tunaweka mkono wako bila kumsahau Emmanuel bila kumsahau ile ile kijana pamoja na mama yake ambao hospitalini wote hao ni wagonjwa baba tunazidi kuweka mkono wako ukawaponye kwa upendo wako mm. mahitaji mbalimbali wengine kama kina Rose Mungu wa mbinguni ukazidi kuwa pamoja nao 
wapigania Mungu wa mbinguni na kuwashikilia katika yote anayopitia usiwaache. Mm. Tunasema asante Mungu wa mbinguni kwa kila siku bila kusahau vijana wetu wapendwa ambao tunao ulitupatia kama watoto wetu na vijana wote katika kanisa la Angaza. Baba yetu tunaweka mkononi mwako. Changamoto wanazipitia kila moja ni nyingi na nyingine ni ngumu na nzito kuliko wao kuliko uwezo wao lakini Mungu wa mbinguni tunaamini utawapigania. Tunaomba usiwaache na sisi wazazi wao atupatie nguvu za kuwashikilia, kwa encourage kupigana pamoja nao ili Mungu anapopita na sisi tutakuwa tumepita pamoja. Na zaidi ya yote Mungu wa mbinguni katuponye magonjwa yetu ya kiroho. Unapokuwa unaponya watu mili yao, ponya na roho zetu baba. Tuache mm. wasitupungukie katika familia zetu kila mmoja Mungu wa mbinguni kaingie ndani ya familia zetu. Kazibariki, leta amani na utulivu. Na zaidi ya yote katuandae kwa ajili ya ufalme wao. Siku ya leo tunajikabidhi kwako tukia Eh, tukiombea programu zote za siku mm. ya leo tukazibariki tupatie afya njema na zaidi ya kili ya kuweza kupata kuelewa yale ambao wanataka kuongea nasi na Mungu wa mbinguni siku ya leo tukabadilike na kusogea karibu nawe ni katika pendo lako tunaomba na kushukuru amina amina amen asante ni wote na shukuru kwa kipindi hichi na tumaini uh, wote tumebarikiwa na uh, uh, shuhuda tukumbuke kwamba shuhuda huwa ni kitu kizuri sana kinainua watu na kuwasogeza karibu na Mungu na maombi mengine yote nayo ni mazuri kwa sababu uh, unapomuombea mwenzako naye anaendelea kubarikiwa na Mungu ukumbuke nguvu ya wengi huwa inasaidia sana katika maisha yetu basi tutakapokuwa tunaondoka uh, 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 kumaliza hichi kipindi Naombea uh, mibaraka ya Mungu ikae pamoja nasi katika vipindi vinavyokuja. Karibu sana mkuu wa shule ya Sabato. Asante uh, Beatrice kwa kipindi hiki cha asubuhi. Um sasa ndio wetu naona umesha songa kidogo. Tuende moja kwa moja kwenye shule ya Sabato. Karibuni wahudumu wote wale wa shule ya Sabato. Uh, Juliana na timu yako Hello 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 Okay I've, I've been so sorry I've been saying hello for the past few seconds but I've been on mute So today I will be your chairperson so good morning church Good morning good, good, good morning, morning. So I hope you've all had a good weekend, a good week. As you've been stuck in lockdown but the world is apparently moving forward now so shops are open. But anyways, can we please have the opening song for this Sabbath? I don't know what the opening song is because I wasn't given it but Can we please get the opening song? Okay. Um Sababu tuko kwenye mwezi wa Roho Mtakatifu. Naomba tuimbe wimbo namba 40. Uwe ni wimbo wetu wa kufungua. Wimbo namba 40 Kiswahili. Uwe ni wimbo wetu wa kufungua. Njoro mtakatifu mtukufu uwe moyo wangu Ah maybe Alice na Rachel mtuongoze huko mlipo huko
Thank you for that wonderful opening song. Um, I would now like to call on the memory verse. Whoever's doing the memory verse and prayer, which is then followed by the mission story, promotion talk, and obviously the closing prayer. So can we please have our memory verse person now, please? Um, the more verse, the more verse this um, morning comes from Psalms 19, verse 1 to 2, and it says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the, firm, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day until day at his speech, and night until night reveals knowledge. Um, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to have the breath of life this morning and to be um, waking up this morning. I pray that you may um, guide the program today and continue to also um, guide us, have, um, be with us through the Sabbath day. Um, I pray that you um, may bless us and um, also be with us on the cornerstone people as we're leading this morning. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Okay, good morning, church. Um, 
Today I'm going to be giving the promotion talk. And the promotion talk is going to be about um, fear and anxiety. So first I'm going to be talking about a story about a young man called Jack and how um, one day he was driving he was, one day he was driving um, on the country road and he ended up getting a flat tire. So he saw a cabin in the woods and began to um, walk towards his cabin. Now he was going to ask the person in the house if he could, if they would um, let him use the phone. But he was, he, um, he told himself even before he went to the house that when he gets there that the person's going to be angry and irritated because at the time he was going was really late. So as he was walking, he kept on thinking that the person was going to harm him because it was um, obviously in a dark country road. So the more he would approach the house, the more um, anxious he got and the more um, the more worried he got because he was thinking who would live in a house in the woods by themselves. They must be um, an antisocial person. They must be someone who is um, a menace to society. Um, and as soon as the door opened, even before the young man called Jack asked for um, to use the phone, he already punched a guy in the face and he ran away because he got scared. So um, the verse that I thought went with this is called, um, it's from Proverbs 15, verse 15. And it says, all the days of the oppressed are wretched, with a cheerful heart has a continual feast. And it's talking about how um, the word wretched basically means those who are unhappy or um, they're not sure. So the days of the wretched are oppressed. The, oppressed, the days of the oppressed are wretched, but the cheerful heart has a continual feast. So in many situations in our life, we sometimes we play um, situations in our mind and we have conversations um, that maybe we've had with other people and we repeat them in our head countless of times or that we're going to have with other people. Sometimes we build cases against other people in our head um, instead of really talking them through or really... Um, or just addressing the situations. And there's a saying that says that we tend to nurse, curse and rehearse stories in our in our head or scenarios in our head, which means that we tend to think about things and we think about them to the point where we've thought about them in the negative light. And then we um, we continue doing that. So it becomes like a cyclical thing. It becomes, um, it, be it then is in our nature for us to just think things and then think um, of them to the point where they start getting when you start getting scared or you start getting worried about things. Um, but thinking about things to the point where you get worried doesn't do anything good in our head. And it talks of, um, and there's a difference between fear and anxiety. Um, the, the difference with anxiety, sometimes it can be seen as a little bit less intense than fear, but it can also be worse in a way that anxiety is like a constant thing. It's um, every day you wake up with a nagging feeling. It feels like, uh, it seems like it's always ever present. You're always thinking like, or what's going to happen, what's going to happen, because anxiety is something that doesn't leave. Um, it can be seen as a good thing because anxiety helps us to plan for the future. It helps us to be um, responsible. It helps us to think, oh, I have something to do. Like if you're worried about, for example, let's say a preaching, anxiety will help you to be able to prepare for that preaching. But then it can also get to the point where worrying all the time, every day, about the same things, it becomes not only just draining, but it um, it takes away our peace. Um, just like, especially in these times now, where many people are scared, anxious for the future, loads of people have lost their jobs, loads of businesses have gone um, bankrupt, have closed down, even the place where I was working closed down. Um, many people don't know how they're going to pay their bills, their debts, their finances for the future. Many students don't know if they're going to be able to get a job or how their student finance is going to work or even their studies like what grades they're going to get people can't do their exams so many things have um are causing people anxiety because you think about them every single day um those who are not in the university are probably thinking am i going to get into university this year who's going to um what grades am i going to get because i didn't get to do my exams am i going to have to reset my exams or redo sick form or redo gcses and there's so many things that um weigh heavy on our heart but i'm here this morning to say that um anxiety in small doses helps, but to be fit when it comes to the point where you become fearful for the future and you don't have any hope in God, it then sets us back and it makes us unable to to have a peace of mind and to know exactly um, 
and to have that reassurance in God in what we in what he has promised us um, and that is to be the heads and not the tails so I will repeat the verse that I have for today it says all the days of the oppressed are wretched but the cheerful heart has a continual feast being cheerful and having trust in God helps us to be able to um, not only have peace but it helps us to be more abundant in the sense that we don't have that um, nagging feeling or we're not it doesn't it doesn't restrict our view our peripheral view and it makes us be able to see further in the future and not dwell on the things that don't matter that much and that's the end of my promotion talk this morning i hope you're blessed amen um so if there's no mission story i'm trying to see if that person's here Um, so, I, I don't think the person doing mission story today is with us so I'm going to give the closing prayer if we can just um, bow our heads and pray dear Jesus we thank you for blessing us and guiding us we thank you for bringing us throughout um, the week and helping us be here safely this Sabbath morning I pray that now as we're going to um, be going into the main service, that you were able to bless the speaker um, and help us to be able to understand what we learned this after, this morning and apply it into our daily lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Um, at this time, I want to thank you guys for being here for our summer school. Um, and I'm going to hand it over back to the sub school superintendent. Amen. Thank you very much, Alice, uh, with your team. Uh, God bless you for the uh, devotion that you're offering yourself to minister in the presence of our Lord. Um, I know that. Uh, we're supposed to start, I mean, maybe to joining in a camp meeting by 9.40, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I hope that uh, God has blessed us since we started this program at Subui, ya leo, na mungu amendelea kwa pamoja nasi. Mbarikio zaidi na kwa kujitoa kwenu. Ni toe na fasi hii kwa waze wa kanisa kama kuna mwelekeo wa aina yoyote au maelezo ya aina yoyote ambayo mnahitaji kutuelezea tupate mwelezo wa na mwendelezo wa hapa kutoka sasa hivi lakini kutoka katika idara ya shule ya sabato tutapenda kuwashukuru kama kiongozi wangu wana neno lolote la kusema kabla ya wazee ni mkaribishe kiongozi nene nasi alafu then wazee watakaribia na bwana wabariki zaidi yeah, asante sana ni um